The animation starts in 1885, with the first planned towns like Tacoma Park and Kensington, strongly tied to the Metropolitan Branch Railroad line. The 1890s bring the first streetcar lines in the west of the county, drawing some development to the Chevy Chase and Bethesda area. The pace of subdivision slows notably from the mid-1890s to the early 1900s, possibly the result of an abundance of unbuilt lots and existing developments, combined with the continuing effects of a major economic depression that started in 1893. Starting in 1910, the state of Maryland begins to pave a roadway network, the brighter white roads in the animation. This starts with highways connecting the county seats, and doesn't initially do much for urban development, but will facilitate Montgomery County's growth after 1920. Post-World War I, we enter the next phase of growth, where most subdivision is for auto-oriented suburbs along the network of roadways paved by the state. This growth is still generally in Bethesda and Silver Spring, but is less oriented to the railways and streetcars there. As we get to 1935, the first dedicated parkland is created along Sligo Creek, and the streetcar lines are torn out. We also see the first examples of the next major transportation system, the multi-lane boulevard. This larger roadway is used for a short segment of the East-West Highway and for the extension of Connecticut Avenue. After 1945, development really speeds up due to a rapidly growing and affluent population, national programs to encourage housing development, and significant state support to upgrade numerous corridors into multi-lane boulevards. Over the next 15 years, these larger roads support the creation of much of modern Wheaton and the East Silver Spring area. Through the 1950s, we see the first segments of the next major transportation system, the interstate. Another wave of growth starts in 1964, after the completion of the Beltway and Interstate 270. These facilities dramatically expand the amount of land with good transportation access, and in response, development mushrooms out across the middle of the county. The next phase of growth is preceded by the first metro line in the county opening at Silver Spring in 1978. In 1980, the Agricultural Reserve puts boundaries on the area available for new urban development. The metro line to Shady Grove opens in 1984 corresponding with widespread development in the greater Gaithersburg and Germantown area that benefits from the accessibility this facility creates. Throughout the 1990s, the county continues developing the exurbs, the farthest out suburbs, at a pretty quick pace. The amount of land subdivided declines after the year 2000. This is the first period of growth in which there is no major new transportation facility to support more development. In 2011, the inner county connector is built from I-270 to I-95, but the adjacent land remains zoned for low density and there is no observable impact on the development pattern of the county. As we approach the end of the video in 2020, there is almost no land that hasn't been subdivided and is available for more development, and the pace of growth is the slowest we've seen yet.